All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, love, and salutation to the whole for light and the one third out there scattered abroad. Barakata to all you Akim out there pushing his word with truth and in sincerity. Barakata to all you Akwathium out there that is listening in. And the true believers of Yahweh Shemal Shah. And this is Brother Kasai Gadal coming at you with a quick hit and a quick testimony on a dream that I had, all right, out of the prophets in Babylon camp, all right, here in Tampa, Florida. All right, Yahweh being who the word English calls God, Yahweh Shah being who the word English calls Jesus Christ. Straight to the point, here to feed the lambs and the lost sheep of the house of Israel, all right? So in this dream, you know, I had, it was me and all of the brothers from the province of Babylon camp. And we were all at camp, right? We were all at camp. And we was, you know, we, we started seeing, we started seeing officers coming down, coming down the walkway. And they were stopping people left and right, asking them if they had you know, they juice card, all right? And at the time, all the brothers, you know, the head of our camp, he said, you know, brothers, just be circumspectly, you know, be circumspectly and basically abide by what they ask you. They tell us we got to pack up and leave, we pack up and leave. Because we had already knew through the spirit and they wasn't coming down there to really look for people juice card. They was coming down there to, to mess with us, man. You see? And so, you know, they they got to us and they told us that we needed to pack up. We needed to get our things. So mind you, Salakia, mind you this, you know, most brothers, you know, they know they know what a courthouse, they know what a courthouse looks like. You know, some brothers you know, in their past life when they was in the world, they may have known what a holding cell looks like. They may know what it feels like to be in the back of one of those, one of those, those police cars or one of those vans, man. And uh, just sure enough, you know, when we got out, when all of us got into the, got into the van, they all handcuffed us. They got up to the van, and they put bags over our heads, man. You see, they put bags over our heads, and while we're in there. The second head of our camp, you know, brother two, he uh, he started we he 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 started saying a prayer, you know, and then we all started giving praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And at this time, we're driving, and I'm like, hold on, I know these streets like the back of my head, man. You know, I know exactly where we're at. So we're not going downtown. We're not. We're definitely not going to a station. So where are we going? You know, because I started hearing, I started hearing, I was able to hear everything that was around us. And we was, we wasn't on no busy street. It sounded like we was on like a back street. All right. So we got to some building. Don't know where we were at. Got to some building. All right. And they was, they started interrogating us. And they sat us all in a room. And in this room, it was like maybe 10 officers at the most, man. You know. 10 officers, they all got guns out, they all got their sword out, and we're all just sitting there meditating, you know? And you seen brothers sending up prayers, you seen brothers meditating on pre-subs, and you just seen brothers just sitting there, all right? So the first person they said they wanted to talk to, they wanted to talk to brother one, which was the head of our camp. And they took him in the room, they took him in a different room from all of us. And as, as we were in the room, you know, and he was in the other room, second head of our camp, brother two, started praising Yahweh by Shem Shah again. So we all started praising Yahweh by Shem Shah, and we were saying it louder and louder and louder until they all drew their swords on us and told us if we don't shut up, they'll kill us. So we heard brother one say, hell nah, I ain't taking that shit. So like you for my words. But he was like, hell nah, I ain't taking that shit. You see? And... We heard the guy say, well, if you're not taking it, you're going to have to die. You have one or two options. 
And then the brother say, you only have the power that my father gave you. And all of a sudden next, we heard a loud boom. All right. So it kind of shook some brothers because they didn't know what was going on. So in our mind, we like, damn, they killed the brother. They killed the brother, you know. But we had already knew, man, his lot was finished. You know, he finished in the works. At that time, we was at camp, man. He finished in his works. His lot was finished. So we gave all praises to Yahweh by Shema Shah again, man. And nextly, you know, they, they started taking everyone, everyone else, left and right, left and right, left and right. And then when I got there, when it was my turn, it was one brother left. When I walked in, I seen the heads of every single brother, man. And every single brother head was chopped off with a smile on their face, man. You see? They all had all their heads was chopped off with a smile on their face, man. Some brothers, not just their head was chopped off, but so were their limbs, man. You see, in the head of our camp, his head was chopped off, but his heart was taken out. His all was taken out, man. It was like they was trying to take his brain to do something with it, man. But when I got in there, the first question he asked me was either you're going to take this or you're going to die along with your brothers. It was no question asked, man. I put my head there myself, man. Do what you got to do. And I hear my phone vibrate. I'm hearing my phone, you know, the woman calling me. She don't know what's going on, you know. But either way it went, I knew what it was time. I knew what, I, I knew what this truth brings us, man. Just like this scripture that I'm about, that I'm going to bring out, you know. So he chopped my head loose. Boom. I'm gone, you know. Now I'm with, now I'm with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, back in the spirit realm. And... It was crazy because this part right here is what is what is what uh is what really got me in my dream, man. The last brother who went and we all heard him through the spirit say, My brothers has finished their lot, man. And they all died with a smile on their face. Kahala, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah, Ba'asham Rakakwadash, man. All through the spirit, we heard the brother calling upon the Lord, man. And that brother died, man. That brother died. You see? And like this scripture I'm going to bring out is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prisons, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Right, man. So, brothers, we got to start understanding it's about to come to a time where it's either going to be life or death. And that life going to be either to take that karagma, the RFID chip, or to praise your by Shem al unto death, man. You see? Now, we're going to jump over to Revelation chapter 3 and verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, man. So we weren't gonna let the, we weren't gonna let these damn demons take our crown, man. We weren't gonna let Sleazy E take our crown. Because what would have happened was they would have tried to give us that damn juice, or if a brother would have folded and would have got that juice, man, your spiritual crown would have been taken away, man. Because then they would have been trying to get you to go every six months, man. And then the Lord could have put a spirit on you to then what? Maybe you, you probably would have been able to repent, but then the spirit would have got put on you, man, to go get that karama because you would have started you would have started feeling all bad. So now you got to go get your booster shot. Now you feeling like you need sleazy E. Nah, man, don't nobody on this world need sleazy E, man, especially you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We need Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah, man. You see? So then through the spirit, man, <coughs> Salakia. It's cold as heck outside right now, man. But through the spirit, you know, I was able to, like, in my dream, I was able to to uh, come to my woman and my kids in my dream, man. 
I was able to come to them and they're, you know, and they're sleeping in their dream and let them know I have finished my lot. You know, and I was going to be with them all through all throughout the ways, man. So I accompanied them every chance it gave it gave me. And the last portion of the dream, I can't really remember, but I do remember the one part that I do remember was it came down to it where I came to my woman in the dream to tell her that, you know, take the kids and flee to this particular spot and I'll be there. And I'll be there. And so will and so will a brother. And I gave her the brother's name, man. Now, do I remember the brother's name? No, Salakia. But it was a brother that was in the truth, man. And it was definitely, it was definitely uh, one of our elders, man. And I told her to flee to him, man. And I'm going to be there through the spirit. All right. So this is just a little quick testimony of a dream, man. Let me, and it, and, it, and it gave me, it gave me more fear than what I've already had, man. When you brothers out there, when you have dreams, or even when your woman have dreams, man, do a lesson on it. Don't wait on it. Do a lesson on it. Because your woman can have dreams and that she should be telling you, and then you women out there, if you have a dream, you should be telling your man about your dream, man. Especially if he's a man of the Lord. Because then he'll know whether or not that dream is to, is to discern you or if that dream is for an edification lesson, man. To keep brothers going. All right? So hopefully this video was edifying to you. If it was edifying to you, then it'd be edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to our elders and our apostles of Great Millstone who do teach and rule well. Peace, blessing, love, and all salutation to the whole for elect and the one third out there scattered abroad. Shalom, Shalom, Abal Babal, Kwan Yasarala, Peace Israel.